this environment for fundraising. You've got it, you've got the money, but you have significantly cut your valuation. Why do that? Why was it just a, you needed the money in the here and the now? Um, this was an opportunistic raise. Really, for us, we were approached by our investors who were excited by the extraordinary growth. Um, we announced that we were the fat. Um, we reached over $300 million in annualized revenue, less than three and a half years uh, from the launch of our product, which was one of the fastest ever. And really, this is about investing in customers. Most of our competitors and most of the industry are spending less on their customer experience. Ramp's purpose is to help our customers' businesses be more profitable, be more efficient with every dollar spent. And we view this as an extraordinary opportunity to increase not only our balance sheet, but also increase the pace at which we can invest um, in innovation for our customers. So we are super excited to do this. Eric, on the 300 million in annualized revenue, there'll be lots of founders watching this show who may be able to raise opportunistically, as, as you put it, or face you know, unfavorable terms. How much emphasis did investors put on that metric and what other metrics did they want to see from you before they signed off on the round? Of course. I mean, I think for most investors, it's a simple proposition. Is this a large market? Are you building a product that can serve an extraordinary number of customers? Uh, is this structurally a great business? And last, is this a, a product that customers love? Um, for us, what made this raise simple was first the growth of the business. Since the last raise, transaction volume on Ramp's platform has increased by a factor of over six into the tens of billions of dollars per year. Uh, we are the number one rated spend management platform uh, in the United States, uh, and we believe there's no better deal in business. Um, we help the average business save three and a half percent per year uh, on their expenses from corporate cards, expense management to accounting automation. Uh, and I think investors were really excited um, you know, for the prospects of Ramp taking on what has been a, a pretty sleepy industry classically. How do you take it on? With yeah. this 300 million, is it more about marketing spend? Is it organic growth? Is it inorganic and purchasing? Yeah, it's two sets of things. First, it's that customer experience. So at the time of the last raise, we had saved all, all time our customers $100 million. Now that figure is over $600 million and over eight and a half million uh, hours of work. And we've done that by launching into new verticals. Uh, when we last launched, we were only a corporate card with expense management. Uh, we're now the fastest growing accounts payable platform in the US, recently expanded into procurement, travel and the like. So some of this is making the experience better for the average customer. And some of this is reaching more businesses. Uh, the number of businesses that use Ramp today, number over 15,000, whether that's small businesses to leading publicly traded companies. Uh, and so a lot of this really is um, expanding and taking the market share. Uh, uh, Eric, your, your pitch is that incentives are aligned, right? What's good for your customers is good for you and what's good for you, and vice versa. Does that sound too good to be true? You know, we, we think um, aligned businesses and customer obsessed businesses win. Um, I think for too long, uh, this was an industry where if you were a bank, you could move money, and if you weren't, you couldn't. And as the world went from no phones to flip phones to iPhones, your credit card never got better. Uh, and I think Ramp's growth really is a reflection of our end alignment, uh, really is the, the winning recipe. Helping customers spend less, uh, we think in the long run, will allow us to grow faster as we have, will allow our businesses to be more profitable and long-term enduring, which we also think makes for a better line, bottom line, not just for customers, but for Ramp as well. It's in interesting, Keith was sort of saying, look, this is a moment where companies have to get more realistic about what they're worth, about valuations. You've clearly done that and taken it on in this opportun opportunistic fashion. What are the other headaches for you, though, in this macro environment? Is it talent? Is it, you know, just con continuing to get more clarity on where this economy goes? How do you ensure that you can grow the business in a mindful manner right now? Yeah, um, it's a really great question. And in part, this is exactly why we're so excited. You know, I think that this is an uncertain rate environment. You know, this is one of the fastest rise in interest rates really in 40 years. Uh, and to have additional capital to almost double the balance sheet and be able to invest deeply, uh, no matter the nature of the market, was super excited. Uh, I think to your point, um, so many other firms are hiring less. Uh, many are doing reductions in force. Uh, so many other firms are making the customer experience worse in order to shore up margins. And for us, as much as we've grown, we truly believe we have 99% plus of the market to go. 15,000 businesses, right. a lot of businesses, right. but there's millions of businesses that could be using ramp.